take me back to before you met all these folks and what were your hopes back then? What would you think was going to happen? Well, I had a lot of hopes. I had a lot of dreams, but nothing really came to pass. I wrote to uh, tons of attorneys. I spent most of my time writing letters asking people to help me. No attorney would help me or they would say that they were starting some program that may help me in the future, keep writing back, and nothing, nothing, nothing. And I was an LWAP at that time, so I really needed help. And then uh, Loyola came and everything changed. They first found out that my sentence was illegal. So I went to court and got that changed. Then I was eligible to go to the board. And then after the board, uh, the attorney Paula took me to the board. I was found suitable and I'm still in court, but I'm out. So I still have to go to court, but I'm out. And I'm so grateful to everyone, the students and the attorneys. It never would have happened without them. The folks in your situation that are inside and know that they have a good reason why they shouldn't be, um, what would you tell them as far as you're at this end of it now? Never lose hope. Never lose faith. Keep your faith, your higher power close to you and never ever lose it because that is the thing that's going to get you through is that you have to be persistent and you have to want it so bad and you have to be honest, you have to be truthful and you have to go with what you know. What's the first thing you're gonna do outside of right now? Oh, I don't know, I'm smiling so much I have to be able to <laughs> take that off first before I can think clearly. But yeah, I, I, I think I'm just gonna go and relax and enjoy life a little bit. Just look at the sights. I haven't seen anything and for 40 years other than in there and then when I did go out I was like this and the bars and the wind you can't hardly see I'm just gonna enjoy life the rest of it Janet quick question for you about uh, you're here today seeing for the first time many of the Loyola Law School Project for the Innocent students and attorneys who have been by your side through this what what words do you have for this group I have for this group that you are one in a million each and every one of you. It's not everybody's calling to help people. You help with your whole heart. Not only to get out of prison, but you also help after prison. You help make sure that we have the things we need. You continue to feed us hope. You continue to give us all the things that we need to make it. When, when we have you on our side, we're just fortunate. So thank you so much. It will never go in vain what you do. And you will receive a special blessing in heaven for it. <laughs> I hate to make this a somber question, but what was what was um, your perception inside of COVID-19 and, and the fears about COVID-19 among uh, your, your neighbors and um, um, folks inside there? Well, they... They kept us uh, pretty much separated um, as much as possible, and they've given us all masks, so we were able to, to you know, stay, stay. So sort of. they, we also have um, the hand sanitizer and everything. So they tried to do what they could for us, but in the beginning, it was just pandemonium, like it always is for everything. And once it calmed down a little bit, we were able to get the things we needed and so far not too many people I don't know of any cases except an officer or a nurse something like that so is, I imagine you must feel just health wise a, a real sense of relief today a well. real sense of relief because I don't have to deal with because you still have a roommate and you still have 160 people in one area so and we have to go eat, we have to go do the things that we need to do, see the doctor, all that. So even with the mask, it still was a little bit harsh. Were, were you here at this location for most of your sentence? Yes. So it's even it's even though you don't want to be inside, I imagine you had relationships with folks inside and you've been here longer than most of them. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it like, what was the scene saying goodbye? It looked like they were all happy for you. Yes, I, had a, uh, I have a lot of friends. I still have friends in here that have done 30 and 40 years. 
um, it was very hard saying goodbye, but I also told them that if it happened for me, it could happen to them. You just have to stay faithful and stay and fight, fight, fight for your life. Sounds like you've kept in touch with Gloria. Yes. Can you talk about that a little bit? You're coming back and you were welcomed by someone special today. What's, yes. Can you talk about that history? Yes. I um I was I met Gloria in prison years and years ago. She tr she helped me with my with an illegal aspect of being in um, trying to get to court. We worked on a writ together and. Gloria was one of the first people that actually had faith in me that said, I believe you. I believe that the things that you said are true. So she uh, used her, her law degree and helped me to do all the, the legal work that I did. And we just became very close. And then she was exonerated. So she got out shortly after helping me. and. Um, she talked to the Innocence Project for me, and she was the one that, that um, got them to accept me and help me. So Gloria, thank you so much. So, so much. I could never thank you enough. Thank you. A lot, a lot of these cases tend to take a very long time. They do. How important is it, the fact that you have folks from the outside working hard <laughs> in a way that you can't do it, legal, you know, with the legal work and the understanding of what's going on, give you hope that something good is going to come out of it? How important is it? How important is it that, that hope, at least even if it takes a long time? Oh, it's the only hope we have. It's, it's all important. There isn't anything beyond that. You have to have the hope, otherwise you will not make it. So when they came, I still had a hope, a glimmer of it, but when Loyola came to help, the hope grew and grew and grew, and here I am today. So, yes, I thank them with everything I have, because they're really, really good people. They're <laughs> decent people. I imagine you're wearing your favorite shirt now. Well, yeah, well, this is, and it will always be. <laughs> I'm gonna frame this shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh, this day is just so important. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any of the students who worked on the case have a word words for uh, this this client you've been helping all these years? I imagine there's a lot of folks here that you, you know their names, but you don't, you don't, you've never seen them or, or talked to them in person. Yeah, I, most, I've seen quite a few. <laughs> I know quite a few. Raise your hand they, if you've seen they've Janet in They've always been a lot of them. Oh, 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 yeah, they yeah. come up to me. I know you're at a disadvantage with the masks, right? It's like, we're asking a lot of you. Remember their eyes. <laughs> yeah, but I still remember them. Yeah, you, you can't help but remember them. Thank you guys so much. This is what you work for, and this is what we hope for. So thank you so much. Look at Harvey, so cute. I can't see your mouth, but your eyes are smiling really big. Oh, thank you, thank you. My, my mouth is too. <laughs>